Yeah, let's do it. Hey folks, today I'm on the water with Chris Watts and uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of exploring with uh, fishing rods and chainsaws. My name is Chris Watts, I'm a certified arborist in the state of Maryland and I'm here on the little backwater area helping Jeff, Jeff clear out some, some little debris and stuff to kind of make a new fishing spot here. The name of my company is Watts Tree Experts. So the, the little river, um, creek really, that we were on has given way to this, this sort of backwater. Uh, we do have current rolling through this and uh, we're just checking it out. I don't know what this was. Maybe a big um, borrow pit where they, they dug earth up to, to make um, roads or something, elevate the roads. I'm not really sure, but certainly a cool looking area. Chris just had one on here. Let's kind of pace behind him. He's throwing, chucking a spinnerbait at the uh, the cypress uh, root balls. What do you think of that boat, man? I like it. There's just like there's like a lot of room for everything. Yeah, like, you got your your chainsaw in there, the tackle. <laughs> yeah, I got two chainsaws, my chainsaw helmet, and I, I could probably add more tackle and a bunch of other rods. We got four rod holders, all the paddle holders, anchor wizard. It's got what? a 500 pound capacity. Yeah, I mean, like it's, it, it's made as a tandem, but but I've switched it to a single. Yeah, that, it's sweet. Yeah, like if you have kids, you could probably put two two kids in here and take them fishing with you. Yep. Just missed one before this one it was probably 18 or 19 this is not a bad fish but it's I missed a nice size one but I as we pulled in I saw right there a beaver that was I don't know like if that thing wasn't 60 70 pounds he wasn't three So this one's actually pretty dangerous. I don't know if you saw the where I went under there. It's actually, I was just kind of looking at it. It's just kind of hanging on with a little twig and <clears throat> not knowing this could come down as you're coming through here and knock you out um, or fall on your head and cause some damage. So You want to take it out? Doing, what? You want to take it out? Yeah, we can do that. All right.
it gets narrow in here again. And current. And it turns to the right and go back into being a river, hopefully, somewhere in here. Oh man, that looks good. Skip it a little bit. And there we go. we were looking for. Oh, look at that. You got a big one too? I heard Chris call out, I got a big one as soon as I hook into this, this slob. All right, this one looks like it's a 19 incher, a little bit over 19. Beautiful fish. I got a 19 inch largie. All right, let's take a look at your, your bow fin. Yeah, you got a bow fin. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Hold them up. Have you caught one of those before? No, this is actually my personal best. <laughs> Yay, very cool. Yep, he's gonna get right underneath my ankle. Yeah. All right. I said I'm gonna cut this log so we don't have to uh, go on top of it. So we got this log that's kind of obstructing um, this pathway here. And there's a gap in between underneath here as well. So in the springtime when the water comes up, this could become a very hazardous situation. So I'm just gonna kind of cut it um, in two different spots here and kind of relieve the pressure and open up a little area that we can kind of come through and continue down the river here. Now we got a little path we can we don't have to hook our kayaks over and we can just kind of come through here jackhammer in there and I was like man something should have ate there I was like I, I gotta give it a follow-up and the jig the jig's a good follow-up always black jig let's see if you got a friend
All right, we are just zooming back up. We went down as far as I really cared to, and I'm just chucking the jackhammer every which way I can. Cruising up through water, we've already fished, and look who's who said, oh, missed you, missed you last time. Missed you on the first pass. Man, I got him good. We're back up in this little area. Yeah, you know, this lake-like part of it, but we got a little bit of current here, and Chris was saying this is where the the pinch points were, is where he got his his bow fin. So, current is certainly part of what is is working for us. We got a little bit of current coming off this point here. We got some fish slashing at the surface and it's a little bit of a mystery or challenge to try and figure out all right where's the inflow and the outflow of this whole thing we've just found the outflow we found an inflow but i don't think it was the the main one we're heading up towards what i hope is the top of it so that we can keep going up in the river all right, that was on that point. I knew I saw some fish actively feeding there. And it's, again, related to current. I mean, the current is, is sort of everything in this. Another good fish. Another really... Yeah, it is a good one. Nice chunk. He gave himself away by eating something on the surface right in front of me. But again, it, it came back to finding the current in this area. And, uh, and finding the wood that had current on it. Yeah, he's 18. Very thick 18-incher. Get him back in. See you guys. So, I just lost the fish right here. Um, but we got a little pinch point. We got an island here. We got some down timber. We got some town timber on the other side. And me and Jeff kind of been going through these areas. And for the most part, these fish have been stacked up in that kind of area that we're seeing here in front of us. So let's see if I can catch another one. And I'm throwing it really tight to the wood. Um, just had a hit right there. There's one. Exactly what I was talking about. Just like that. There's probably more in there, honestly. We got some current coming through here, right here, to this little island. Um, so I'm gonna kind of do what I did over there. I'm gonna kind of position myself in a way that I can make my cast. I'm gonna do a couple backstrokes here, that way I can let the jig kind of just work the bottom as I'm going backwards. So just kind of nice little backstrokes here. And then I'm just going to kind of cast it into that woody area there. Now the kayak's going to be coming back, so it's going to tension the line. And then I'm going to be able to feel what's going on with the bottom and what's going on with my lure as well. And it's really one of those things you kind of just let sit and just let the lure and you'll even get some action from the water and the current stuff moving the, the jig hairs and the, the, the plastic on the back as well. Oh, he came back. So I just caught this fish on that point there with a jig 
Um, kind of what I was focusing on is any kind of moving current that's coming in, uh, pushing this really tight up against the wood, um, doing my backstrokes uh, to kind of get me going in a backward motion, then making my cast. That it enables me to make sure that the line is taut and then kind of just letting it work the bottom as I'm kind of drifting back. As you can kind of see what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of drifting, not really doing much bouncing motion and just kind of paying attention to what the line and your rod is doing and understanding kind of what the what's going on underneath the water. That's how I was able to catch this guy right here. Well, it's been a fun morning out here exploring on uh, some new water and um, cutting up some trees. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah, man. It was definitely a lot of fun out here. We caught a ton of fish in this remote area. Um, I was glad that we were able to remove some of those hazards that were on the, on the water for people. Um, so, yeah, man, a ton of fun. And just pay attention to when you guys are out there with those strainers. Um, just just be aware of them um, and just be safe out there when you guys are fishing. I'm going to kind of wrap it up here. Jeff's going to fish the rest of the day. I got to make my way back home, but it was a pleasure fishing with you, Jeff, and I will see you next time, man. All right. See you, see Chris. it up to where the current is really all you see there's no more get in here no more flat water and it's good current and lots of wood and I'll turn it around at some point and show you what's in front of me but it's almost impassable Chris, we got more work to do, bud. Like, I might make it through, I don't know, it's gonna be tough. It is really congested, but there are fish here. one of these on every log out here. <clears throat> and they're not all big, but it's every log. I know I've gotten through some spots that were way too tight for uh, for a John boat to get up in. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm getting to him. Nope, he got off. I know you heard all that. That was a big fish. I cast over a branch, it skipped over it. And when I set the hook, I brought the fish. Well, he jumped up to it. I don't think I brought him anywhere. He did what he wanted to do. That was another 18, 19 inch fish. There's one on every log. So as we get towards dusk, I'm gonna have a little fun with the uh, with the top water bite, I got the Billy Goats on a 5 aught extra wide gap hook. And I just skip it way up in there. And then just fish it real slow like you would a buzz bait.
that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, it's a big, big, big fish. Down there. Oh. Top water. Oh. Hello. What's up? You like the billy goats? Oh, they don't like me much. Oh, that's big for the day. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I got to watch the the soft plastic gurgle up through that rapid. Let's see this. Uh, are you 20? Nope, you were. Let's see, 19 and a half. Nice fish. All right. 19 and a half, right at four pounds. We're gonna get some fun little uh, GoPro dome footage of the release. Get back to some more topwater fishing. So important, very, very important. When they hit it, they hit the top water, give them a two count, maybe a one and a half count before you set the hook. Wait for the weight. One way to do that is to keep your rod tip high. Because you can't set super fast if your if your rod tip is way up there. That's gonna be a fish. Come on. Ah. Be there. Be there and eat the billy goat. Inside turn. Nope. Be by the log. So creative imagination and some optimism is so important you want to visualize where the fish is I think he is see that tree sticking out there I think he's in the root ball right underneath it I think the current piles up on that thing you make a story about where he is what he's doing why people are calling you when you're fishing and you believe it. Put it right there. <clears throat> Missed him, but he was there. I'm gonna get the better one this time. <clears throat> I don't know if that was the better one or not, but I believe they. He was there and what that does for you is it increases your focus if you believe it, it you, whatever it takes to believe it you know you talk talk through why the fish is where you're about to cast whatever it takes just have confidence in your presentation have faith be optimistic, be ready, be focused. There's another one there. Come on, be on the log. Be on that side of the log. Mm, yep. Mm. yep. Ah, that's a good one. 
get on this side of the log. Ah, oh, very good one. Oh. Come here. Mm. Told you it was a good one. Oh, yeah. All right. Racking up pigs. I think he's probably 18 ish. Uh, oh, right behind me. Yep, he's 18. Right on the nose. Right on the log. Thank you. You want to go home now? Yes, please. Okay. You're not him. Maybe you are. Nope, you're a bowfin. Oh, I finally got my bowfin. Okay. Oh, jumping bowfin. I looked at him and I'm like, no, he's too, too skinny to be the big largemouth that I missed earlier. Okay. Hmm. Finally got a boat in. Ah, teeth. Lots of teeth. Okay. such a cool looking animal. Hi. I'm gonna let you go now. Do you see the teeth? I don't know if you see the teeth. They're sharp little ones. Okay, see ya. Did you see that thing jump? It went pew. What an awesome animal. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up for the day. I'm running out of daylight and Still got a little bit of a hike out of the woods here uh, before I get to my truck. And having a little bit of daylight, it's better than having none. What a fun day. We got rid of some strainers out here, caught a bunch of fish. I finally got a bow fin. Several 19 inch fish, like this is a great fishery and you know, it's it's not easy to access for sure. And uh, I definitely want to come back here with Chris and do a little bit more cleanup so that more of it is accessible. What a cool day. See ya.